All right, thanks, Elizabeth. Hey, making math fun. That's what two seventh grade teachers are doing this week in Albuquerque with a classroom project that's taking students to new heights, literally. Yeah, we're talking as high as Mount Everest. The students are using math in a new way to see if they can make it up the world's highest mountain, so to speak. We sent our David Romero to go check it all out. Hey, Dave. In school, many of us wondered, when will you ever use math in real life? Students at Ernie Pyle Mid School are finding out how important it really is. I think a lot of times, especially in textbooks, things are given to them and they're neat and they're clean. And we all know that real life problems just aren't. They don't always have an easy pathway to a solution. You don't always have all the information you need. Um, and so I think problems like this that are based in the real world um, give them the sense that, you know, it's okay if things are messy and it's okay that I have to go out and um, work to find a solution. And I think that that's what I hope that they gain the most from. These students are working math problems as though they were taking a virtual trip to the top of Mount Everest. This is a hands-on opportunity to find out how using math will determine how much food, water, and supplies they would need to survive the journey. When we learn mathematics in a story where it's coherent within a story, an, an epic, um, the, stids, the kids are going to start to ask questions uh, that, are, that are those fundamental questions. They, they start to see a practical use for mathematics in our world today, which is what we really want. That's the motivation. Mid-School Math, the company Laidlaw works with, partnered with teacher Megan LeBleu to develop the fun program for kids, something they hope will take off in other classrooms in other schools. This is a, an incredible project. This is masterfully um, built and created. But then also, Megan with her students in the classroom, it's, uh, you know, she's, she has the, the ability to, um, to let them have the freedom to explore the ideas and at the same time keep them on track. I think knowing that they have a partner to talk with, to brainstorm ideas with, it's one of the common core practices, number one, persevere and don't give up. And so um, I think the more they practice with a partner, the more comfortable they'll be persevering in a hard problem on their own. David Romero, to Casa This Morning.